good Sunday morning tubers. Matt and Roy back once again. Back to you with a vlog video. This is Sunday, May 14th of 2017. And this is a big day for me, mainly because this is the day I am going to pick up the new iMac. That's right. I got a call late last night from the lady that's selling it. And she brought it to the uh, Apple store, had them do diagnostics on it, back up her data, and they reset it to the latest uh, Apple operating system, which I could have done that myself, but unfortunately she was not able to do that at home. So it's a good thing in a way because I now know I'm getting an iMac that is in perfect working order. The fact that it's been to the Apple store and they've been through it, they did diagnostics on it, reloaded it with the operating system, I know I'm getting a really nice and good working system. Them. So I am stoked guys. For those of you that did not see the vlog from a few days ago, this is a late 2011 Core i7 27 inch iMac. Right now it has uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I am going to immediately upgrade that to 8. Um, Eric Brunhammer said I should do that, and I agree with him because, uh, yeah, 4 gigs is not really near near enough. And in the future I may upgrade it to 16, but from what every, all the research I've done, 8 gigabytes should be more than enough for my needs. Uh, it also has a 1 terabyte conventional hard drive, which I will be changing out, but that's not going to be for a while. Um, I just, one, I don't have the time, and two, I don't have the funds right now to do that. But I am going to upgrade the memory, because that is priority. So I am really excited, guys. I can't wait to see this iMac. Once I bring it home and I start um, working on it a little bit, I'll go ahead and do a review of this computer for you. Um... I'm getting this computer for about $500. Um, she had it listed for $550. I offered her $5, and she said yes. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I talked to quite a few of my friends that are more Mac enthusiasts than I am, and they said that's right about the money for this computer. Though, again, when I looked it up on eBay, I saw quite a few that were s still selling for seven, dollars $800, uh, these exact computers. So I definitely think I'm getting a good deal on it. Well, Baxter is looking out the window. He's going to be a little upset because I'm going to be leaving to pick that up any minute. And uh, since mom and dad went on their trip, I could tell that he's already missing them. Um, he's very clingy. He comes in in the mornings, lays in the bed with me. The, right after I get up in the morning, sometimes before I get up, I actually woke up this morning around 5 a.m. with a cat kneading on me. <laughs> I had to kick him off because I needed to sleep. I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m., so I'd only been asleep for about three hours at that point. Um, but once I woke up, he came in, he kind of cuddles up next to me, and I could tell he's just missing dad and mom really bad. So I'm going to give him as much attention as possible, and then we're going to head out, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Should be interesting, and I'll talk to you guys What are you doing, Baxter? Yeah, I know. You're not going to like the fact that I'm going out so early. You just get very lonesome. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video already, the last one I put up was giving him a bath, and uh, he was actually very good about it. I could not believe the dirty water that came that, that came from his body. I, I knew that he had gotten into something. I think what may have happened, I think when we were pouring milk one day, we must have spilt a little on him because he literally smelled like... It was either rotten eggs or rotten fish, so he needed a bath really bad, and he smells a heck of a lot better now. What you looking at? What's out there? He loves looking at the birds, don't you, buddy? He's looking a little discharge from that right eye, just like LT. I may need to take him into the vet and get some uh, antibiotics. I hope she's not giving him whatever she has, but he's young. He's a strong cat, so he might just get over it himself. All right, Baxter, go look at those birds, and uh, we'll see you when we get home, sweet. All right, tubers, so heading down to pick up the iMac. I'm going to turn this uh, air conditioning down a little bit so you can hear me better. Um, I want to wish everybody, all my mothers out there, a happy Mother's Day. And I did the same thing with my mother this morning. Uh, when I woke up, <laughs> she didn't answer the phone. It was about 9, 30, 10, because I think they got in a little bit late last night. She was probably... Uh, probably still asleep so I left her a nice little Mother's Day greeting on her uh, voicemail and we'll see if she actually gets that at, like I've said in the past my mother is not usually the greatest at checking her uh, voicemail messages by the way you may hear my GPS in the background because I, I have it on so I can go down and figure out where this place is and I don't think I turned the volume down so let me see if I can uh, work on that right now it's funny because I'm using the Garmin and I always forget how to turn the volume down because most of my GPS's, with the exception of the one I keep as a backup in my car, um, 
or Tom Tom. So, yeah, if you guys hear in the background, I'll have to I'll have to pause the video real quick. But other than that, everything's going really really well. I've been cooking up a storm since they've been gone. Um, I've done vegetable beef soup, uh, actually vegetable beef and barley soup. I tried it with barley this time, and it was fantastic. Um, I the funny thing was, mom helped me get the barley because I didn't know where the heck you find barley. I was able to find the Quaker barley, which is normally sold uh, as a cereal, it's kind of similar to uh, grits and oatmeal. Um, I found it in Food Line in the actual cereal, I know, I'm sorry, the soup aisle, but they sell it as cereal, and uh, that worked out well, though if you use this, it's what they call quick barley, uh, it cooks in about 10 minutes, so if you're cooking this in a soup like I do with the uh, crock pot, make sure you only put in maybe the last half an hour or so, because it'll overcook if you leave it in way too long. So I've cooked that. The other day I cooked, uh, about two days ago, I cooked some vegetable beef stew. I wanted to cook a lot of things that didn't require me to cook on a daily basis. Stuff that I can, you know, freeze and thaw and have, you know, maybe every other day. So what I've been doing is uh, I'll eat out one day the next for dinner. The next day I'll eat, eat the stew or the soup at home. And I'll eat out the following day. Kind of scatter because it is very hard to cook for yourself. And, um... I don't know. I'm going to try to find uh, ways to cook smaller batches because eating out a lot can get very expensive <laughs> very quickly. So we'll have to see what happens there. And I did cook uh, some of those country pork ribs the other day. I really wish I filmed that, but unfortunately I was really busy that day and I just knew I wouldn't have time to not only film it, but to upload it. But what I did is I used uh, a recipe similar to what Eric Brunhammer, YouTube user Eric Brunhammer does. He um, taught me about these uh, slow cooker um, country style pork ribs and it was so good. I mean, it's not hard at all. Literally just put the uh, little liquid on the bottom. I used uh, beef broth, but you can use water. Put the ribs in, season to taste, you know, whatever way you want. I like using pepper, spike, little onion powder, and then the barbecue sauce on top and you stick it in the crock pot, set it on high for about four hours best ribs I ever had and I'll probably wind up having those again for uh, for dinner tonight. I want to touch on another subject. Uh, I hadn't been watching the news recently but I do uh, get some uh, news alerts on my phone. I have the, the Fox News app, the CNN News app and uh, last night I got an alert that uh, North Korea actually uh, test launched another missile and this one was successful. Um, it's just something I've been really thinking about a lot lately because right before mom and dad left, they had mentioned um, years ago when they went through the Cuban Missile Crisis back in the uh, early 60s and uh, how late at night my dad as a, as a kid would be just sitting up in bed sleepless wondering if the world was going to end before he actually went, went to bed and woke up the next day and... I tell you, things have really gotten close to being that bad again. I, I, I realize North Korea can't get, does not have a missile that would reach the United States, but you know, when I think about it, if they successfully, say they successfully launched one at South Korea and, and obliterated South Korea, I mean, that could start a chain reaction that could literally start a world war and, you know, it could be a nuclear war. So it's really, really scary when I think about it. I, I keep this world, this country in prayer as much as possible because I see where we're going as a society and uh, I don't think it's that good to be honest with you. I see uh, so much hatred lately and you know so much fear, just a lot of fear out of everybody and I try to do my best to you know push that aside and, and go on with my days but you know it does get to you after a while you know it's, and, and I really see it since uh, since 9-11 unfortunately I, I, that was a really really hard blow to this country and I still to this day don't think we fully recovered from that well I'm gonna end this topic right here and now because I don't want to depress anybody here <laughs> but um, I'll probably take it's probably gonna take me let's see what GPS say probably going to take me about another 30 or 40 minutes to get there depending on traffic so I'm going to pause the uh, pause the vlog for now and I'll take some pictures of it hopefully when I get there I'm not going to film in there because most people are not comfortable with that but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right tubers well here she is in all of her glory the late 2011 core i7 20 inch iMac I'm just going to give you guys a little uh, sneak peek of it right now this is going to be kind of a teaser 
to this video, but this thing is in primo condition. There isn't even a scratch on it. It's absolutely amazing. So I got this with it. She gave me the original power cord. And if I go in here, show you guys the uh, two keyboard options she gave me. She gave me the original uh, USB keyboard. Let's see, I don't even know what this one was called. This is... Then you have a name on it. Just the original USB Apple keyboard. She also gave me the Bluetooth keyboard, which I'll probably use. I actually like the way that's designed. And then, of course, I got a mouse with it. This is... I think they call this the Magic Mouse. You guys can correct me later on if I'm wrong, but... Again, everything is just in immaculate shape. I think for the $500 I gave for this, I think that was an incredible deal. While I'm at her local 7-Eleven, I gotta get something to drink. My mouth is parched. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'll talk well, to you guys tubers, a little later. This is truly a sad sight. Take a look at this. The last Radio Shack in our area is now closing. <clears throat> Excuse me, Eric, I know you're gonna really appreciate this. And this isn't even that close to my house. I mean, this is just so sad. I cannot believe it. Uh, an iconic store from my youth is going to be no more very shortly. Well, let's run inside and see what they have left. It looks like they just maybe started, so uh, I don't know if the deals are that great, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'll All talk right, to you in a little well, bit. It's kind of slim picking at the Radio Shack. It looked like there was more than there actually was. What they're doing is they're moving all of their product to the front of the store. So actually probably sold about 80% of what they had, but I was able to pick up something uh, fairly interesting, and it was this Radio Shack 4-port USB 3.0 hub. Um, I've needed one for a long time for my uh, Media Center PC, the one that's in my alcove. For those of you that haven't seen those videos, that's the uh, HP, the 6-core HP AMD system. I purchased one years ago um, online from a Chinese manufacturer that never worked properly. So this is I'm just going to put. I'll probably have this sit right on top of my Blu-ray player or maybe even right on top of the TV. Uh, for easy access. So that's something I've needed for a while. And this was originally $37.99 on discount. Uh, it was 50% off, so I got it for $18.99, 20 bucks uh, after tax. So not a bad deal with that at all. Um, the one I got online a few years back, I paid $13 for, and that thing literally, actually, that thing never worked. Um, as soon as I plugged it in, I started getting that burnt ozone smell, and I was like, oh boy, it must be uh, shot. And sure enough, just a cheap, cheap uh, plastic piece of crap. So I'm going to head over to the thrift store. I'm going to have to wait a few minutes, though, because uh, I don't think it opens up till noon. Um, I cannot wait to get home to start working on the iMac, but you know what? I need to do this first. So I'm going to head over there, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Da, da. Now that's enough. <laughs> well, guys, here it is. I've just finished setting up the iMac 27 inch. She kind of deceived, was a little deceitful, but I don't think it was on purpose. She said it was a late 2011. This is actually a mid 2011 model. I'm going to go ahead and show you. She, once again, she did include the wired. USB keyboard and then the wireless Bluetooth keyboard, which I haven't set up yet because the batteries were totally, totally dead. And then, of course, she included the um, the mouse here. And again, I, I apologize. I think this one's called the Magic Mouse. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Once again, this is my first Mac that I have had in some time. All right, tubers. Well, let's go to About This Mac. And I will show you that it is running Mac OS Sierra. Sierra is the latest one. It, you can see right there, 27-inch mid-2011. It does have the 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, first or second gen. I believe it's a second gen, but once again, I haven't really had a chance to look up too much about it yet. Um, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. One thing I found out that is really cool about this, and I'll show you it in a minute, um, this actually has four memory slots, so I believe I actually have uh, two more two gigabyte sticks of DDR3, so I should be able to upgrade this to a full uh, eight gigabytes of RAM without actually having to spend any more money. And as you can see, the graphics card in this is the AMD Radeon HD 6970, a very, very capable 
uh, graphics card. So what I'm going to do is, it's very hard to do this one-handed, but I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to go into the system report here, and I'll show you guys some of the other information here. Once again, iMac Core i7, 3.4 gigahertz. It has, uh, I guess it's actually considered a quad core. Yeah, definitely, because it's a Core i7. Uh, 4 gigabytes of memory. Level 2 cache is 256K per core. Level 3 is 8 megabytes, so pretty good there. I'm not going to go through all of this now because I'm going to wait till I do the full review. But the one thing I wanted to show you here was the memory. And this I was very surprised to find. You can see right there that two of the banks are actually filled. Number uh, Looks like actually number 3 and 4. But number 1 and 2 are still empty, so I should easily, easily be able to get this up to the uh, 8 gigabytes I want. And even if I do have to buy the sticks, if I don't have them, that still will be fairly cheap. The one other thing I want to show you is the hard drive that's in here. The hard drive that's in here is a Western Digital wd 101 fals 403 aao And when I looked this up online, I'm going to show you what drive this actually is. This is a Western Digital Caviar Black drive, which I'm very surprised they put in here. I really would have thought they would have went with something like a Western Digital uh, Blue drive, possibly even a green drive uh, due to the fact that it is a, um, a lower speed drive and thus puts out a lot more heat. But I'm actually very glad that they put this drive in because this is one of the fastest conventional hard drives you can get um, without having to put an SSD in. And I will tell you that this computer is extremely speedy. I mean, look how fast I can go through the different applications and I can go to the different websites online. Um, I may not even bother upgrading this to an SSD. I don't know at this point. Um, I haven't really worked with it too much. Like I said, it's only got the very, very basic apps on it right now. Um, once I load it up with the programs that I need and the programs that I really want on here, and I see what the speed is like, then I'll decide if I'm going to go ahead and eventually put an SSD in this. That is really up in the air right now. But for, for now, I am just to so totally stoked that I have this. I mean, this computer, it once again, is in like near mint. I would say it's actually in mint condition because I do not see a scratch or a scuff mark anywhere. I mean, this the screen is perfect. It is brilliant, very, very bright. I am just so, so happy and so, so blessed to have this. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy... Uh, the video is being edited on this once I get uh, everything set up, which will probably take a little while. But you know what? If you're patient with me, I'm sure it'll be well worth it All in right, the tubers. long run. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here for today before it gets too long. I'm not going to do the review of the iMac today because i got to take some time and get all the programs I want to on there, um, learn a little bit more information about the exact specs on this computer, and then I can then I feel that I'm more informed to give you guys an authentic and uh, proper review. Please remember to like and subscribe, and as always... Have a blessed day, everybody.